I've noticed that a lot of creators on YouTube like to jump between aspect ratios when going from like the talking head type shots like this into the very epic b-roll shots. They add black bars at the top and the bottom on top of their b-roll. I really like that too. But what I like even more is when people transition into it by animating in the black bars. And that's what we'll be doing today. So let's roll the intro and um, keep an eye on those black bars. What's up friends, I'm Chris and today we'll be animating some black bars. Let's jump into it. All right, so we're in Adobe Premiere Pro. I've already lined up my talking head shot, my epic b-roll shot, and then again, another talking head shot. So this is where we'll be going from regular 16 by nine into our um, letterbox slash black bars sequence, and then back again to the 16 by nine look. So assuming that you're in the editing mode, go into the effects mode that will take you to the effects controls window and on the left side. Uh, go down here to new item and create a new adjustment layer. Uh, drag that into your sequence. There we go. Then with the adjustment layer selected, uh, go up to effects search for crop and drag that onto your adjustment layer. And in the effects controls window, you can now see that the crop has shown up, the crop effect has shown up on the adjustment layer. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll uh, change the top to 12%. I find that anywhere between 10 and 12% looks pretty good. You've seen that it's added a black bar or cropped out a part of your image at the top. Do the same thing for the bottom, 12%. There you go. Letterbox done. The, the black bars will be on whatever this adjustment layer is on top of. So in this case, the entire sequence. Now what we want to do next is animate this. So let's go to the first frame of the B-roll sequence, or the B-roll clip in this case. With the adjustment layer selected, hit the stopwatch on the top and bottom. Let's go to the last frame of the B-roll sequence and do the same thing there. Add keyframes. Now let's go to the beginning and maybe count, I don't know, 10 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 frames into the talking head shot and change the 12% of the top to zero, 12% of the bottom to zero. Since we're changing the value of the crop, Premiere is gonna add these keyframes automatically. So you'll already have an in animation for your black bars. There you go. Let's do the same thing for the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go for 15 instead. Same thing here. Zero percent. Zero percent. And let's have a look. Not bad. Not bad. I, however, think it's a little bit boring. Uh, I want these keyframes to be a little bit smoother. I want them to ease in, maybe, you know, come with some speed and then slow down right before the epic B-roll clip starts. So let's select these four keyframes. I'm gonna right click and hit ease in and ease out. For the first two keyframes, we're gonna change these to ease out. Um, try to remember it's out because we're easing out from these keyframes into the next. I know that's a little bit confusing. And the last keyframes, we want to make them ease in because we're easing into them from the previous keyframes. 
That's the easiest way I think I can, <laughs> I can explain that. Let's have a look. That already looks nicer, much nicer. Yep, but I'm gonna make a few more adjustments. So expand both of these. And we'll start with the top. So we're gonna change the velocity. I want this to animate in really fast and then sort of ease out. Like the Enterprise, dropping at a warp speed. Let's change this. We'll drag this to the left, making it look like, I guess, uh, making it look like a skateboard ramp. Yeah. Now we can have a look. Have a look at the difference between the top that we just changed and the bottom that we haven't changed yet. I like the motion of the top a lot more. So let's do that same thing to the bottom one. Let's create that skateboard ramp. Nice. You could even maybe drag these out a little bit, make the animation last a little bit longer. Let's see. There we go. Nice. Let's do something similar at the end. However, this time I wanted to animate out really fast and then sort of slowly disappear over the edge. So we'll create the skateboard ramp in the same direction. Drag everything to the left in the velocity section for the top and the same for the bottom. There we go, and I got four skateboard ramps. Let's have a look at this from the beginning. Nice. I think I would even make this end animation a little bit longer. Effectively ending a little bit smoother. Nice. Oh, that's perfect. I like that. One thing I would just do, because otherwise, because it's a little bit annoying. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit so it looks better. All right, now I'm happy. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you got something out of it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Mm -hmm.